Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, we will design this tree logo. The concept of this logo is taken from the Thuja tree. The beauty of these trees lies in their triangular shape and we will design our logo by using the triangular shape of Thuja tree as a reference. Now let's continue with today's tutorial. So first of all, if your Inkscape preview is it appearing like this, then go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Then go to file, select the document properties, then select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width of your page to 1280 and hide to 720 pixels. Then simply left click on this cross icon. Now the presence of two menus is very important in Inkscape for each and every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu. Simply left click on this icon to get fill and stroke menu on the right side of your screen. And the second one is align and distribute menu. Simply left click on this icon to get align and distribute menu. And you can see that both of these menus are appearing on the right side of your screen. Then simply left click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows. Now select create stars and polygons tool with the left click of mouse. Then from here select the shape to polygon. Select the number of corners to 3 corners. Rounded value should be set to 0 and randomized value should also be 0. Then hold down the control key on your keyboard. Then hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse in upward direction like this. The fill color is set to white. That's why we cannot see any color on the screen. Simply left click on any of these colors like this red color to see your color on the screen. Then select the selection tool and here we have the option for the width and the height. Simply left click on this lock icon to lock the dimensional properties. Then select the height and set the value to 400 pixels and press enter. Drag your triangle at this position. Now in the start we doesn't need the fill. So we will cancel it by simply clicking on this cross icon and assign it some stroke color. By holding down the shift key on your keyboard and left clicking on this black color like this. Now the stroke width is too much. We will decrease the value by simply going to fill and stroke menu. Then go to stroke style. Change the units of the width to pixels and set the value of the width to 5 pixels and press enter on the keyboard. Then select the pen tool, left click once, hold down the control key and drag the mouse towards right side. Again left click and press enter on the keyboard. Now again we want to increase the stroke width value. So go to fill and stroke menu and in the stroke style set the value of the width to 5 pixels and press enter. Now to differentiate between the parts, simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this red color like this. Then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse. Then right click on this red line and select duplicate. And drag the duplicated line in downward direction like this. Then hold down the left mouse button at this position and drag your mouse over these lines. Again right click and select duplicate and drag the duplicated lines in the downward direction like this. Now select the shift key on your keyboard then left click once on this red line and again left click on this triangle. Then move your mouse cursor to the right side of your screen and scroll down. And here you can see that align and distribute menu is appearing. Simply left click on this align and distribute menu and from the relative to select last selected and left click on this icon which says align bottom edges like this. Now simply deselect these shapes by left clicking on any of the white area of the page like this. Again hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click once on this red line and again left click on this triangle. And this time left click on this icon which says align top edges like this. And again deselect both of these shapes by left clicking anywhere in the white area like this. Now we have to select all of these four red color lines. We can select these lines by using two methods. The first one is hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this line and again left click on all of these lines individually like this. This method is very time consuming if you have a number of lines. So simply deselect these lines by left clicking on any of the white area like this. The second method is short and very efficient which is hold down the alternate key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button at this position and drag the mouse over all of these lines like this and you can see that all of these lines are now selected. 
then left click on this icon which says equal vertical gaps like this now again deselect all of these shapes by left clicking on the white area and again select over triangle with the left click of mouse right click and select duplicate now we want to place this corner of our triangle at this path of the line for this purpose two snapping options must be enabled the first one is snap to paths and the second one is snap to rectangle corners so first of all turn on the snapping options by left clicking on this icon which says enable snapping then left click on this icon which says snap nodes paths and handles with the left click of mouse like this now we will turn on our two target options the first one is snap to paths and the second one is snap to rectangle corners like this now hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button at this handle and drag the mouse in downward direction up to this point like this now again right click on this triangle and select duplicate again hold down the control key on your keyboard and left click on this handle and drag the mouse in downward direction up to this point like this then again select this middle triangle with the left click of mouse right click and select duplicate then hold down the left mouse button at this triangle and drag the mouse towards this corner like this now our logo is almost ready now we want to delete these red color lines so again hold down the alternate key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse over all of these lines like this and press delete on the keyboard now we have to assign some colors to our logo which I have already decided you can easily see the colors from the color codes now select this triangle with the left click of mouse and now we want to assign the first color to this triangle for this purpose drag your mouse to the right side of the screen and scroll down and then select this fill and stroke menu then scroll up and here you can see three options fill stroke paint and stroke style simply left click on this which says fill here you can see that no paint option is enabled simply left click on this icon which says flat color and here you can see that the option for the color code is appearing simply select this color code by dragging the left mouse button over this and we have to write this color code in this section simply write the value to 0 0 8 0 0 0 and you can see that the same color is applied to the shape now the second method of applying color is that simply select this triangle with the left click of mouse then select this pick colors from image tool and simply left click on this second color and you can see that the same color will be applied to your body now again select the selection tool now select this triangle with the left click of mouse hold down the left mouse button and drag it at this position and now you can see that the smaller triangle is appearing on the screen simply select this one with the left click of mouse and again select this pick colors from image tool and left click on this color and you can see that the same color will be applied to your shape again select the selection tool select this triangle hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse towards this corner and again select pick colors from image tool and left click on this color like this now again select the selection tool now we have to place this triangle at the bottom of all of our parts for this purpose simply left click on this icon which says lower selection to bottom like this now simply left click on these color codes and press delete on the keyboard now our logo is almost ready now we want to cancel the stroke color so simply hold down the left mouse button at this position and drag the mouse over all of these parts like this then hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this cross icon now this is our final logo if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel and also share your thoughts about the design in the comments section thanks for watching and have a nice day